I've been getting lots of comments and lots of feedback lately about my different videos and tips helping you guys out and that's my ultimate goal on these videos and on this channel is to help you out that's what I love doing I love sharing my knowledge sharing my love and giving it to you guys hopefully you hear something in a different way that's gonna spark something um, that can help you change your life or maybe it's something that you've never even heard before um, and it'll just bring some light into whatever your situation is but since I'm helping you guys out um, and since you guys seem to be liking this content that I'm talking about over the past months and years I'm gonna obviously keep it going and today I wanted to talk about an easy fat loss workout or an easy fat loss method and I've gotten a lot of different questions in my inbox about well what's a baseball specific workout that I can do um, how do I get lean you know I don't want to be have that bodybuilder physique I'm just a baseball player but how do I look ripped in front of the girls at the pool and um, how do I just get that body that looks athletic and I'm going to try and answer that for you today. Now the first thing that I want to let you know about is that your diet is very important, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you to completely change your diet because I know it's very, very hard. Um, whenever I'm lifting weights very, very seriously, I try to increase my protein, increase my calories that I'm taking in. I use as many supplements, good supplements, um, as I can. And I try to eat as much meat as I can and just basically eat as clean and as healthy as possible. And I know that it's not something that's easy to change. You can't go from eating cereal every morning to having five eggs for breakfast and then another big time lunch and then um, a big time dinner. It's, I mean, it's really, really tough to change your diet. And it can be done. And I highly recommend you do change your diet if it is just absolutely terrible. But I'm not here to tell you about your diet in this video. I want to talk to you about a personal development power hour. And you may be thinking, what is he talking about? I'm talking about walking. You don't need to go out there and run sprints. You don't need to go out there and do an hour or half hour of jogging. Um, those are all beneficial ways that you can lose fat and uh, lose weight if you want to but what I recommend for not only improving your physique and not only improving your body but also improving your psychological self um, and just becoming the strongest and best version that you possibly can of yourself um, I recommend that you go on a walk this walk can be 20 minutes this walk can be 30 minutes it can be 45 an hour Whatever time slot, whatever chunk of time that you have, I recommend you devote at least a half hour of it to a walk every single day. Now, what's the best time of day to do it is probably um, early in the morning when you first wake up before breakfast. That'll get your day going. There's actually been scientific studies out there that show that if you go on a walk in the first thing in the morning, your brain in, is immediately sparked up. You're going to have more brain power throughout the day and then you are also going to have higher energy levels so um, that's when I like to do it I either like to do it when I first wake up on an empty stomach or um, later on at night it's actually um, 836 here right now um, yep right around 836 and so I would go you know around this time maybe maybe 20 or 30 minutes ago actually right around 8 o'clock in the summertime it stays out stays light uh, a lot later but I know you guys hang out with your friends and stuff too so um, just go in the early morning wake up empty stomach go for a walk and another thing that I think will help you out is listening to audiobooks now I didn't say pop on your favorite um, iTunes playlist or whatever you can do that. You can listen to music, and some people have to have music when they work out. I understand that. But something that's really going to help boost that walking experience, it's going to help you physically, it's going to help you emotionally, it's going to help you psychology um, or psychologically, is listening to audiobooks or podcasts and learn about topics that you love. If you're watching this channel, you probably love sports, you probably love fitness, you probably love baseball. And go download some uh, audiobooks you can go to audible.com or other websites go download some audiobooks it's very simple you can get an iPod or your iPhone you can just use your handy dandy iPhone and uh, download those bring your earbuds 
Um, there's other, if you don't have an iPhone or an iPod, there's other MP3 players that you can get for super, super cheap now. So it's not really much of an excuse. But download audiobooks. Download podcasts. I know that I'm currently listening to an audiobook in my car most of the time and on my morning walks about success and how to multiply your success in every area of your life. So it's probably a four or five hour audio tape. It's got a bunch of chapters in this book, but think about it. You go on a walk uh, for an hour a day and you'll have it done within a week. And could you imagine if you walked every single day for 365 days per year um, and you listened to as much as you could of an audiobook every single day? By the end of the year, you would have at the very minimum, probably 52 books read. So that is amazing. I know I don't really have the time of day and I really don't do it very often to just sit down and pick open a regular book and, uh, you know, skim through the pages and read, you know, I just, I prefer to do other things like make these videos and, uh, talk, talk hitting with guys and hang out with my buddies and stuff. But if I'm doing something else, if I'm driving in my car, if I'm going on a morning walk and I can listen to the audiobook then that's that's awesome and I also take in the information better um, instead of just staring at a page for hours and hours and hours you can just listen to it take in the information almost like a lecture and uh, I think it's very very beneficial so this I think is the easiest fat loss workout and method out there some of you guys are probably thinking well what is walking really gonna do for me but if you're on an empty stomach you're gonna start burning more calories you're going to boost your energy levels for the day. Like I said, it's going to get you ready. And even if you don't listen to audiobooks, use it as, like I said, a personal development power hour. Think about what you have going for the week. Think about how you can improve your lifestyle. Think about if you should call your grandma and tell her that you love her or what you have to do. You know, it's it's very, very beneficial. Um, and I think you should start incorporating it into your daily routine. I know I have, and it has certainly helped me feel better. It's helped my energy, and it's definitely helped me get that more ripped um, and athletic look. So this is the easiest fat loss workout you're going to find done.